Okay, we are doing a Manny Skywatch East, and this is the southwest. Nothing coming up off the ocean. It's 3 o'clock, and I explained to you this morning that the sky was chemtrail free. Now, the reason they do that is because of these plants here. These are weeds. When did you ever see a weed that wasn't healthy? Look at this this poor excuse for a leaf right there and that weed right there look how droopy it is and yet it's been raining every day all of these plants are the same way it's been raining every day and we've had a hundred percent chemtrails every day so what's happening is there we aren't getting enough sun and once a month in the philippines they stop spraying because they know just like that weed I just showed you they know without the Sun everything is gonna die so they give us two or three days of sunlight and then they start their spraying again because otherwise there would be no food for the people in the Philippines now I'm gonna show you the Southwest Normally, every day, there are giant plumes over the ocean, and that is over the ocean, what you're looking at now. This is over the ocean, and this is over the ocean. This is Tagbalaran City, that way. Those are real clouds. I'm going to zoom in on that so you can see what real clouds look like again. You can see through the edges, they're very soft. You can see through multiple layers. This is, oh, they started, there it is. They started with the chemtrails. Those are not real clouds. You can't see through the edges and they're not puffy. And if you'll notice directly over the center of that house, right there, directly over the center, right there of that house there's what appears to be a very wide line in the sky and that is how they start it they just drop this stuff down from on high and it disperses before it gets down to the two or three thousand foot mark over there they're spraying over there and they're also spraying right behind the corner of that house so what they did is because these plants this is a weed I'm going to show you a weed that's dying. These weeds are dying, and yet they're in the sun. And this is why they give us two or three hours, excuse me, two or three days of sunlight every month. Because even though we've had sun, the chemtrails don't allow whatever's necessary for things to grow. That's a weed. No one sprayed the weeds. They get just as much rain as everything else, and everything in this entire empty lot is dying. Because even with the sun, the chemtrails are blocking the stuff out. Now, this is a Manny Skywatch East. And Manny, look at this. Now, John, Johnny JBA is going to say that this is a fake sky. Well, last night, there were, every star in the sky was visible. So this isn't a fake sky this is a real sky look at this guy he's gonna be a YouTube sensation baby yeah uh, what, what country are you from Taiwan Taiwan I'm from Taiwan yes yeah I am Taiwan Mike are you sure? Oh, but I am a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. I'm from Taiwan also. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ah, some very nice people came in. Some people aren't so friendly. So, so getting back to Manny. Manny, you can see there's nothing in the sky. There was nothing in the sky this morning, and yet... They have been, they started their spring in the afternoon. Real clouds, and the behind those houses are fake clouds. Now we're going to go swimming. I'll do my 30 laps or 40 laps, and 
upload this video. This is my routine for now because I don't really feel like going to the ocean because my GoPro camera took a crap and I'm not happy about that at all. Not one damn, the damn camera was working perfectly and then the on off switch went. It's a part called C11. Every single person who has a GoPro that is two or three years old, the same problem exists in every single camera. Every camera, every person, every time. None of the GoPro Hero 2s last more than a few years if you use them on a regular basis. They all take a crap. And the part number, according to the internet, is C11. Now I'm going to set up my tripod and do 30 laps, or maybe 40. So I'll just let you look at this gorgeous pool for a minute or two while I get the tripod set up. Up, 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 up. Okay, and then. You can watch me do my laps. Okay. Put this over here. This tripod, my dad bought this tripod in 1953, before I was born, actually. And it still works just fine. It's an aluminum tripod uh, with the, the original rubber grips. Those are original rubber grips from 1953, which makes them 47 and 14, 51, 61 years old. 61 years old, and this tripod still works and acts like it's new. And not only that, it was a high-end tripod when, when uh, my dad bought it. It even has a has this really cool crank up look at this look at the precision in this tripod it's amazing it spins it rotates this way it rotates this way I did do one repair but we won't get involved with that it was a pretty simple repair a little bit of uh, uh, acetic glue I forgot the name of the glue it was really good glue though okay and now being that we had the camera upside down, let's uh, put the camera right side up, and we're good to go. And now I'll do 30 laps around the perimeter of the pool. 10 laps using my fins. And then five laps, just my arms. And then five more laps using my arms in the opposite direction, and then 10 laps in uh, using the fins again. Now I'm pretty sure you should be able to see that. I have my mask, I have my bucket. Ah, oh, look at this. Well, look. Well, what scuba diving adventure would be complete without Mr. Obama? He's going to make sure that Rabbi Jew Barker is safe. That's right, baby. Woo, 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 woo. That's right, baby. Okay. I have my fins. These are Plana Avantes. Plana Avantes. They're pretty high-end fins. They're about a hundred hundred dollars in the States. It was a gift. First thing you do when you're going diving before the mask gets wet, take the mask and you spit in the mask and rub the spit around in the mask itself and then you flush that out. That will keep the mask from fogging up. Naturally, every once in a while you have to clean the mucus off the mask or your, the oil from your eyes and stuff. So now we make sure there's nothing in my pockets. 
which happens a lot. And we got. They already took a shower about an hour ago. So normally I take a shower before I go in the pool, but now it's not necessary because I'm clean. Set the mask up. Snap it. Clean it up. Maybe I'll do 40 laps. Okay, and we're off.
30. Okay, and now I stopped at 30 because the sun is setting. And I want to show you the difference between the sunlight when there are no chemtrails and the sunlight actually looks like a prism under the water. But this is the first time I've seen this prism effect because I'm going to show you the sun again in a second and then I'm going to show you what the water looks like. It actually looks like a prism with a seven layers of light are shiny through. Now this is the sun. No chemtrails. Now I'm going to show you the prism effect in the water. I hope you can see it like I saw it with the mask. But each little line at the bottom of the pool has all the colors of the rainbow or the prism. Now I don't think you can actually. But we'll try. Yeah. Now what you're looking at is this crisp white light. Now what you see and what I see with the mask under the water are probably two different things. But what I was looking at underneath the water was a prism effect of the light reflecting, refracting off the waves, which is as it should be. Now, I've not seen that since I started doing my swims here a month ago because I haven't been here when the sun was not full of chemtrails. I've seen two or three days about three weeks ago with no chemtrails but I didn't have I wasn't swimming that day or I was someplace else I don't remember I just know that two or three days a month they give us this white sunlight which is completely different than the rest of the light we get the rest of the days and now look at that sky crystal clear a few smokers up there but this is the difference in the light that you're looking at now and the light that we see typically with the chemtrails is completely different than the light you're looking at in the pool now now you might not be able to see the rainbow effect and from up here it is minimal compared to what it was Although now that the water is calming down, the rainbow effect is becoming more pronounced. So I'll just leave this like this for a few seconds. Hopefully you can see the rainbow effect from this pristine sun. Now Johnny A, B, C, A, B, A, J, B, A, excuse me Johnny. He believes that the disc that's making all this heat is fake I don't know I haven't been to the Sun lately I do remember flying through the Sun when I was doing meditation heavy intensive meditation and I moved into a different plane of consciousness and I did some astral projection and I projected myself through the Sun I didn't feel any heat but I remember going through a bunch of fiery chasms and then it was kind of like pinkish orange and then I was on the other side traveling so <clears throat> around the perimeter of this pool while we're talking about traveling is 33 meters uh, close to it when I walk it off now probably I only go 30 meters because I'm on the inside diameter so what I just did was about 900 meters 2700 feet or just over half a mile and however amount of much time it takes. Now I could have did 40, well I normally do 40, but I didn't do 40 because I wanted to catch the light before it went, before the sun set too much and the refraction was just bouncing off the water. Now look at what we have here. 
Uh oh, it's Superman. Superman. The mask. Oh, Supergirl. Supergirl. That's one of the girls that cleaned the room. She's a sweetheart. And what I wanted to do was uh, say goodbye. And this is Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines, baby. Saying God day to everybody. And remember, if Mr. Obama had a son, son would look like Trayvon Martin. That's right, baby. Son would be in hell. Playing cards with a pedophile priest. That's right, baby. And his son would be dead. Right, Mr. Obama? <coughs> That's right, Michael Fazio. If I had a son, it would be dead. And what else, Mr. Obama? Oh, what else is my friend and Nick, your friend and Nick from Taco Rack, says, fuck them, end of the arc, that they rode in on, baby. That's right, then, oy vey, from Mr. Obama in the Philippines. Oi, 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 look at that big smile. You know why he's smiling? Because there's a piece of pipe in that lot over there that he's getting ready to put a lip lock on. That's right, baby. Oi, vey.